Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this lesson. Today I am going to discuss on the topic All Summer in a Day by Ray Douglas Bradbury which is a short story for ICC English Literature Syllabus. Before I start, please subscribe to my channel and also press to the bell icon so that you can get all my updates. So here I begin. First of all, I will discuss the title of the story, All Summer in a Day, is a fanciful story written by Ray Douglas Bradbury. Bradbury is known for his science fiction, horror, and mystery stories. This story is also a curious mis mixture of mystery, suspense, and horror. The setting of the story is the planet Venus, where it keeps on raining for years together. Sunshine occurs only once in seven years. The scene of the story is set in a school where the teacher, teachers and children await the appearance of the sun with great curiosity. On sunny day is equal to an early summer on this planet. Hence, the title is quite appropriate. The title of the story is very interesting. It literally refers to the day when the sun comes out after seven long years. This is like the whole summer to the people living on the planet Venus. Now I'll give you a brief description about the author Ray Douglas Bradbury. Ray Douglas Bradbury was an American author and screenwriter. He worked in a variety of genres including fantasy, science fiction, horror, and mystery fiction. He was born on 22nd August 1920 and died on 5th June 2012 at Los Angeles, California in United States. Now I'll discuss the story All Summer in a Day along with its important characters and symbols. First of all, dear children, I will discuss the symbols and the characters used in the story so that before you know the story, you are well acquainted with all the, these symbols and characters. So, All Summer in a Day is a science fiction, a short story by the American writer Ray Bradbury, first published in March 1954 in the issue of the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. In this story, we find the sun symbol analysis the most important symbol in all summer in a day embodies all the nature of its effects on people demonstrate the inextricable connection between humans and the natural world. On the planet Venus, the sun only comes out once in every seven years and for the remainder of the time, people live underground in the darkness hiding from the pelting rain. Venus, therefore, is a society that is entirely removed from nature, something both caused by and symbolized by the absence of the sun. Margaret is the only character who can remember the sun and in its absence, she has become not only sad and subdued, but also physically less healthy. She is frayed and washed out like an old photograph. The other children initially seems healthy enough, but when they finally get to play outside in the sun, its revitalizing effects are immediately apparent. The children tumble and play with new formed energy, laughing and wondering at how nice the sun feels and looks. The sun has made them physically and emotionally stronger, just as its absence weakened mar market. After this period, in the sunlight, the children are suddenly awash with great regret for locking Margaret inside, as if the sun had made them more self-aware and empathetic. With its power and restore, Restore health as well as inspire empathy. 
the sun represents renewal vitality and the power of nature without sunlight the people on venus seems slightly less human now i'll tell you about another symbol that is the weeds weeds and unruly plants appear multiple times in this in this story sometimes unexpectedly there they are used to emphasize the damaging effects of deprivation from the sun both the physical environment and the inhabitants of the venus have become cruel and inhospitable in the absence of sunlight because of the constant rain it rains venus is covered in sickly pale overgrown vegetation a jungle that grew and never stopped growing tumultuously even as you watch it the jungle is described in vivid uncanny detail as a nest of octopi a clustering of great arms of flesh like weed venus is an untamed inhospitable environment which the constant rains have covered in tangled gray weeds just as the rains have created this hostile environment they also seem to have posted hostility among the people of venus the unruly children are described in the opening of the story as so many roses so many weeds intimate pressed close together as they appear out of the window in the absence of the sun and in their feverish anticipation the children have become themselves like uncontrolled weeds just as the lack of sunlight has turned the surface of venus into a frightening jungle it has also turned the children into an unruly mob weeds symbolize the ugly behaviors that have proliferated unchecked in this harsh environment now children i'll tell you the third character and that is about the children william and margaret are the only two students named in the story but the other students also join william in teasing margaret and they get the play outside in the sun while margaret was locked up in the unruly excitement before the sun comes out the author writes that they are like jumbled weeds but after they have experienced the sun's revitalizing energy the school children are devastated by the return of the rain and they suddenly feel ashamed about how they have treated margaret my fourth character is william william is a boy in margaret's class and he acts as a ring leader for the other students because he is jealous of margaret's experiences he discredits her when she talks about the sun and the, and tries to provoke her into fighting with him william vents his frustration by getting the other children to help him lock margaret in a closes during the brief period that the sun is out <laughs> my fifth and the last character is margaret Margot the protagonist of all samay in a day is a 9 year old girl who moved from oyo planet oyo to the planet venus when she was 4 years old margaret longs intensely for the sun which she remembers vividly for her time on the earth without the sun margaret has become withdrawn pale and sober eschewing the company of other children and thinking only of summer time margaret classmates treat her coldly and with or with jealousy because they have hardly experienced the sun at all and will likely remain on venus for the rest of their lives while margaret may be lucky enough to return on earth on the much anticipated single day of a summer Margaret becomes a scapegoat for the other children's longing and deprivation. They lock her in a closet so that she won't be able to see the sun.
which is the experience she most craves. Margaret symbolizes emotion, color, life, hope, and promise of tomorrow. The kids that lock Margaret in the closes prior to the sun coming out seems incapable of empathy and devoid of any emotion that might represent the cruelty of their actions. They are pale and colorless, both in appearance and emotions. Now, dear children, I will tell you the story of all summer in a day. So, listen to me carefully. In this story, the author deals with the absence of sunlight and how it can affect both psychology and physical physicality of the human being. The planet Venus has been depicted as a tangled and inhospitable wasteland. The people living on it have also become unruly and cruel. When the sun comes out, they are joyful. All summer in a day takes place on the planet Venus. When this family of Margaret arrives to the planet Venus from the planet Sun, Venus has a peculiar climate. Every seven years, the sun comes out just for two hours. While on Earth, we can see uh, we can see the sun coming out every day the sun rises in the morning and sets in the evening the rise of the time it rains all day the rest of the time on the planet venus it rains all day and every day the planet is covered with thick jungles and unruly weeds perpetually caught in a cycle of growth and destruction. Human life undergrounds in a net work of tunnels eagerly awaiting in a very brief summer. When the story opens, a group of nine-year-old children are gathered excitedly by the window of their underground classroom. After seven long years, today is the day that scientists predict the sun will make its brief appearance Indeed, the rain seems to be slowing. One child, Margaret, stands apart. Unlike most of the children, Margaret lived on Earth till she was four years old. Until five years ago, when children speculate about what the sun is like, Margaret can actually remember what the sun is like. She remembers quite well. Margaret has not taken well to her new home. On Venus, she is frail, quiet, and pale, as if the rain had washed out the blue from her eyes and the red from her mouth and the yellow from her hair. She has also began to panic at the touch of the water. As the two-hour summer approaches, the school children read and write short stories about the sun. Margaret finds herself the object of teasing when William, a boy in her class, tries to antagonize her by claiming that she didn't write the poem she shared with the class. This is a typical tournament for Margaret. The other children tend to tease her or avoid her because they envy her childhood on earth and the fact that her parents may even spend thousands of dollars to move her back there. To some extent, Margaret seems to have brought this isolation upon herself because she refuses to participate in games or songs unless they relate to the sun. For Margaret, life on, um, on Venus is all, a, is all but unbearable and the sun is all important and she makes no secret of these feelings. One day, the sun is set to appear. These tensions are close to a boiling point while their teacher is briefly out of the room. William pushes and taunts Margaret, but she does not respond. Continuing to share out of the, out the class window, angered, William tells Margaret that the sun won't come out after all. 
she is unsure whether to believe him but clearly alarmed soon the other children join william in taunting margaret and teasing her about the stan the thing the most she cared about william leads the other children in grabbing margaret and pushing her into a closet she struggles and cries but they but they lock the door smile at one another and return to the classroom they seem to forget about the incident immediately just as the children return to the classroom the rain slows even more and finally stops the crowd eagerly by the classroom too in the sudden roaring sadness and stillness the sun comes out flooding the sky and the jungle with radiant light the jungle is revealed as a tumultuous tangle of flesh like weed resembling a nest of octopi bleached a sickly ash gray by years of relative darkness the children rushed outside and peel off their jackets revealing in the warmth of the sun it is far better than they even imagine it to be they run laugh and yell staring at the sun and trying to sever every joyful moment but all too soon a girl begins to wail she has got a single rain drop in her palm immediately sobbed the children walk and then run back to the underground classrooms as the sky darkens and torrential rain recommences it seems it seems somehow louder and more painful than before and the seven year distance between the present and the next glimpse of the sunshine seems incomprehensibly long just as these somber chill feelings overtake the children they suddenly remember margaret still locked in the closes they glance at each other guilty and chastened slowly against the backdrop of the terrible rain they walk to the now silent closes they let margaret out the children were cruel to margaret because she is different and also because they were jealous due to their action she she missed seeing the sun only then do the children regret what they had done now dear children i'll tell you the theme of the story the main theme of the story all summer in a day by ray bradbury is Number 1 bullying which is caused by jealousy and envy the author chooses to explore this theme in the context of future generations that has a chance to travel between planets as a consequence evolution number 2 jealousy and isolation it tells the story of a group of children who are jealous of margaret on her experience about the sunlight as she had spent her childhood on earth her recollection are most true or life the story shows that even extremely cruel bullying is driven by more complicated motives than hatred alone number 3 the power of nature the story imagines a world in which the humans have left earth for venus inhospitable planet where they must live completely indoors and can only dream about the pleasure of being outside the this estrangement from the nature changes humanity both physically and emotionally by draining people of color vitality and even empathy this shows the importance of sun to human kind My fourth theme of the story is nostalgia and discontent. In this story, the author depicts a world in which the sun is absent, 
has tremendous power over people's life. Margaret is sustained by her detailed memories while her classmates, whose memories of the sun are either distant and brief, are anxious and insecure that they can't remember it better. Through this depiction of a society, observed with memory and absence, nostalgia leads to social unrest and personal dissatisfaction. Unchecked nostalgia is a social sickness and prevents people from appreciating the present. This is clear on Venus, since the sun appears once in every seven years. Inhabitants spend much of their time recalling these brief moments of summer. Most children were too young to remember the last appeared of the sun, last appearance of the sun, so they dream about it and long for the experience they have. My fifth and the last theme is anticipation and disappointment. All summer in a day is about a single day of great importance. On that, the inhabitants of Venus have anticipated eagerly for seven years, while great anticipation often leads to dashed expectations. There is an if there is an even worse fate than the unmet expectations, the brief moment of sunlight on Venus brings more joy than the children could ever have imagined. In the end, the day seems to have brought more sadness than joy, as instead of imagining the sun, they now miss something they have personally experienced. Now, dear children, I'll tell you the moral of the story. All summer in a day focuses on the cruelty of the bunch of students, the bunch of school children who have moved to Venus and are excited about the clouds clearing for about an hour, which will allow most of them to see the sun for the second time in, in their life as these children who are nine years old of age, was most probably two years when they last saw the sun. Apart from this, we can also see the power of the sun, which brings energy, will, being clear and self. The sun represents life, influence and strength. So with these words, I end my lesson. Hope this lesson will be beneficial for you in your study. Thank you.